You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and today I have a familiar face who usually we get to talk for half an hour. Not today. Gary Leonard from B21. Gary, welcome. Always a pleasure, Mark. Good to see you. Of course, you're involved in all of this wonderful stuff that's happening downtown. We're all talking about perception and image. That's Art what we have. Brockton. 2016, this is a new event, first event, and now we have some of the infrastructure in order to host it. That is correct. Uh, just to let you know what Art Weeks times four is, it's the actual promotion and financial engine to all these great events that are coming up in the month of May. And I'd like to talk about three events that are very special to me. And that's the opening night uh, that will be at the uh, Enzo Flats at 50 Center Street. That's the Trinity Financial Building. Mm -hmm. uh, everybody can come and see what a beautiful job they did there. And we will be having a reception there um, with our partners, which was Eastern Bank, mm -hmm. and also Vincente's uh, Grocery Store, uh, right around the corner here on Warren Avenue, uh, who was supplying us with our food uh, for all three of these events. Um, what I do need from the general public is anybody that would like to add to our promotion in our financial engine by making a donation, they can do so. Uh, right now, all checks are being made out to the Brockton Youth Foundation. Mm -hmm. uh, Bill McGauley, who is heading up this, uh, spearheading this organization, uh, is uh, actually taking the uh, bull by the horns and actually taking the monies and putting it through uh, the uh, Youth Foundation until we get our own 501c3 designation. So we have a lot of cooperation. I have the chamber out there um, promoting this. I have social media out promoting this, and now I have BCA out here Absolutely. banging the drum. Uh, w, uh, BVF is also very much involved. Um, I can't thank enough of uh, the people who support not just uh, these events, but Brockton in general. Well, if you look downtown and you look at Enzo Flats and you look at the quality job that was done with that building and the fact that our whole show last week on One North Main Half the, we had the African uh, art exhibition uh, over there. Yes. We had the downtown revitalization event that was there. We're, we're spending a lot of time down there, and it's, it's really nice. It's a beautiful facility, so kudos on that. You're also going to have a fashion show. There. We certainly so, are. At the end of the, so we're starting at the beginning of the month on the 6th. There's bunches of stuff all over the place. There is. But the next big event would be the fashion show at Enzo as well on the 26th. 26th, that is correct. That will okay. be at Enzo as well. And uh, again, uh, that will start at uh, 7 p.m. and run until 9 o'clock. Um, uh, it's putting on by uh, another person who's going to be speaking here in the very uh, in the next couple of minutes. So okay. I don't want to elaborate too much all on the that. Thunder. I don't want to steal all the thunder on that. But let's get to our grand finale here yeah. at Gallery 33 at 33 Dover Street, the Stacey Adams Art and Cultural Center. <clears throat> what this building does, it houses uh, the Brockton Arts, which is run by Arnold, Arnie Danielson. And he has a host, whole studio there uh, of all kinds of art from all over the world. Um, it's a beautiful setup. And through the Stacey Adams uh, Center itself, we have studios. Uh, we have about 40 different uh, people who are involved in the arts. And when I say the arts, that's music, fashion, dance, um, singing, you name it. They do it there. And they're going to open up their doors and put on a show for everybody. Imagine that, 40 entertainers in one night, free of charge for the general public. I don't know any other community that gives that out. I'm telling you, what a great change of perception and image for the city of Brockton. Now, let me ask you a question. You, you, you're going to ask me a question, a couple too? of <laughs> sponsors for the for the reception. Um, this is an entirely volunteer effort. You said you're going for the four, 501c3, and That's right correct. now you're going through Brockton Youth Foundation. Are you looking for more sponsors? Are you looking for more community support? And how would people? I'm help looking out? for both. Okay. I'm looking for both. Sponsors are always welcome. Uh, like I said, we are the financial engine, and we do that by obtaining donations from a lot of the businesses around here, and also individuals have stepped up to the plate. Um, a lot of other uh, partners um, uh, have come aboard that want to contribute, not just by uh, uh, endowments, by giving us money, but also by participating in the program. Uh, it's made up of about 30 different people that are working on this, which is a great community engagement. You don't always get that kind of uh, turnout when you try to do something on a volunteer basis, and this has been very successful in that avenue. 
I know you guys have been meeting at least every week, and then in between the meetings, there are other meetings that go on, and um, <laughs> it, it, it just seemed to all gel. I only went to a couple of meetings. I do meetings all the time, as you do, yes. and I told Bill, just tell me what you want us to cover, and tell me how you want us to promote it, and how we're going to be involved, and that's good. I'll, I'll, I'll skip the meetings, okay? <laughs> but it's, it, I think it's really important. I mean, I think you have the, is the Sound Lab involved? As sound well? Lab's involved, absolutely. Okay. Um, uh, when you go to the Stacy Adams uh, Arts and Cultural Center, again, you have people from all walks of life <clears throat> that do all kinds of different things. Uh, people from uh, Africa are there, uh, people from Haiti are there, people from Cape Verde are there, and they all have special talents. Uh, Sound Lab will come in and he'll entertain. Mm -hmm. Sound Lab is a <clears throat> great entity here in the city of Brockton, volunteers a lot of his services. Of course, we try to keep everybody making money as well, so we try to throw them whatever we can, mm -hmm. but that's not really what they're in it for. They're in it for the perception and image of the city of Brockton. And from what I understand, there were already a lot of events happening in Brockton in yeah. May, like our wonderful high school musical yes. that's going on. So it's kind of, that's how it ended up being Art Week times four that because it was already happening. That is correct. So is there a website? Is there a place for people to go for the information? Where would people look up what's going on so they have a, a general idea of the whole calendar? You can go right up to and put on their Brockton Arts. Okay. Brockton Arts, and it'll have a full calendar of all the events that are happening here throughout the city. And I'm sure Ani Danielson will talk about that once he's here as well. And on the city website, the city does a good job city putting does up it. all the different, it's not packaged specifically for this event, but it's a community calendar with, with multiple listings that and things correct. like that. That is correct. And also the Chamber's uh, website will also have it on there as Plus well. Plus the Chamber does the monthly newsletter the newsletter. first Tuesday of the month. So if you want the paper copy, if you're kind of old-fashioned like me and you want that paper copy, you got it all in one place. Well, we're not just giving them a lot of atmosphere. We're also giving them free food, free drink. We just want them to come out, take a look. <clears throat> Once you do come out, you'll be hooked like I got. Mm -hmm. I got hooked. And you'll be there all the time. You'll be looking forward to all these events happening. As Arnie, Am I getting this all in nine are. minutes? As Arnie Danielson would pro will say when I have him on the segment, everyone will play in the sandbox together very nicely. Isn't it nice? It's right? for a change. And yes. it's free. I mean, free. Do you, I mean, like some of the events, like it was the musical I was mentioning, there is a, a slight cost of admission. But, God, you couldn't go to Broadway or you couldn't go to Boston and see a play for what a Brockton High School musical cost you. And the quality of what our kids do. We, we have people all ages, all walks of life, like you said, all cultures, and everybody's getting along. Well, I'm going to go to Footloose because I'm brain loose, and I want to make sure I see all everything that Brockton has to offer. There you and go. again, once you come once, you'll be coming again and again, and it's something you'll always look forward to. I got hooked very easily. Last thing, back to the sponsorship. If they want to sponsor or get involved, please call me. My phone number is 508-802-2315 or at my office at the Brockton 21st Century Corp. Area code 508-586-0021, extension 115. Perfect. Thank you, Gary. Always a Nine pleasure. Nine minutes. Mark. I didn't know if we'd do it. Holy mackerel. I, I feel like I've just done the marathon. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> uh, you're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.